Whose idea was it to bring the wedding forward, yeah? Both of us. So you're serious about marrying Tama then? I love him. The best thing for us to do right now is just forget that anything happened and get on with our lives. When I see you with Tama, it's like every part of me wants to scream out that it's wrong. Don't. You're the Vinny. What's going on there? Nothing, man. You know what he's like. It was just one smart ass comment too many, so I snapped him. She's got a problem, bro. Yeah, you and Shannon. Bro, whatever you think you saw, I wasn't hitting on him, man. You expect me to believe that? You really want to know what's been going on? Come on, man, tell me! Tell me, man! Yes, okay, I made a move! What? But you keep trying it on. Yeah, and she kept saying no. I kept going, but she wasn't interested. All I got was a tum of this, a tum of that. She couldn't stop talking about the wedding. You stay away from her. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Dotted line, please. Uh, first thing tomorrow. What's the rush? You got a hot date? Uh, I wish. I'm dining with Gretchen Clancy. So you can charm the pants off her. Oh, please. But I might be able to get a look more favourably at this whole plastics unit thing. Where are you going? Magellan's or the Pennington? We're dining in. So you're racing off home to whip up a gourmet delight? No. Siobhan will be doing the whipping. Ooh. So she cooks as well, then? Well, not every night. We saw Gretchen at the dogs. She all knows how much the plastic unit means to me, so she volunteered to play hostess. You sure it's just dinner she's cooking up in that kitchen of yours? Barb. She's very attractive. I wouldn't blame you. But Tony would. What am I doing? Nothing. Except hitting on the woman who's meant to be looking after her son. I am not hitting on her. Good. Because the last thing you want to do is to give Tony any ammo. Unless, of course, you'd rather return to the original custody arrangement. I suppose it is practical. Apparently it doesn't hurt. What are we watching? How about a story, Lucas? Or a puzzle? What about that? That'd be... Shh. Sorry. Don't disturb. Hi. Finally! Daddy! Cup of tea? I haven't got time. Have you seen a blue folder? No. What? Well, if you start grovelling now, I might forgive you. What for? Missing my farewell. Didn't Barb tell you? you? You had a meeting. What if you've got a meeting when I go into labour? Yes. We've got some really cute stuff. Look, this is supposed to stimulate the left side of the brain. Nice. Is my hair okay? I've got to work down at Chris's. Oh, you never told me. I only just found out myself. We're doing a major grease to the DHB lawyer. She came into the bistro today. She's scary. Yeah, and I have to pick her up five minutes ago. Oh. You'd be bored out of your wits. Well, I'm a much better greaser than you. I know, you're the best, but we haven't got time to organise a babysitter. Well, I could do a ring around, see if Wait, Tasha's... I've got to go. See you, buddy. Hi. High five. And don't let him watch too much TV. Any complaints so far? Bed making technique is award winning. I mean about the new system. Yeah, I know what you mean. No complaints about the system, about the long waits, yes. Yeah, but this afternoon, hardly any wait at all. An exception rather than the rule. We still need more staff. Don't go thinking we don't. No, oh, absolutely. Got to do something to put a smile on Victor Carhu's face. No, oh, good luck. He'll only find something else to gripe about. Sorry, I didn't say that. You're not a fan, obviously. He's an excellent doctor. Yeah, well, he's great with patients. I probably shouldn't be discussing a colleague with you, should I? Well, that's very loyal of you. I can see he's been a thorn on your side. Well, he's obviously reserving judgment about my fitness for the job. Fair enough, I suppose. He doesn't know me. 
Well, part of it is he thought he was more than fit for the job. But he's never been a team player. That's the real problem. Thanks. Hey, have a good night. You too. Bye. Hey, you. What are all looking on all now? Where's the stuff? You were going to get supplies? I saw Vinny. Shan, why didn't you tell me? Come on, I... It's not your fault. Well, you can't help it if guys are hitting on you. What did he say? That he tried it on and you weren't interested. That's right, eh? Yeah. Yeah. That guy, man, he thinks he's the man. Like any chick's just gonna drop at his feet. Yeah, he fancies himself. But I'm with you. You need to tell me if guys are hassling you, okay? He won't be doing that anymore. I made sure of that. Oh, you didn't do anything stupid, did you? I wanted to. Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I just, I didn't think that um, it was worth mentioning. Okay, to Potter. I love you. You know that, eh? Yeah, I know. I don't blame him, though. You are pretty hot. Shut up, you. You ready to go home? Um, no, you go. I'm going to finish up here. Well, I'll help. What am I doing? No, no, there's got to be someone home for Tash because Victor's working late. You're too much, man. You're always thinking of other people. Might be long, OK? Better not be. How's Harry? Fine, he's in his room. Oh, great, we can drag him out if the conversation dries up. Sorry, I'm taking him to see Tony, remember? Oh, that's right. Uh, I was thinking I'd start with some easy classics and then ease into some jazz. What do you think? For nasty dragon lawyers? Well, nothing from this millennium. No scribe, no outcast. No danger there. Well, there's always the Beatles. That's more your era, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, you just keep stirring the pot, you. Yeah? Here we go. Risotto's almost done. You just have to keep an eye on it, okay? Got it. Everything's gonna be fine. Hi, come in. Hello. Excuse me, I've been to see to the boy. Oh, sit down, Chris. I'll get you a drink. <clears throat> Thank you. So, a nice glass of red or white? Oh, just soda water. Thank you. We've got juice. A nice uh, cranberry cocktail -y thing. Water will be fine. Nick? Anything. Siobhan won't be long, uh, and then we can eat. We've got her famous mushroom risotto to look forward to. You obviously married well. Oh, Siobhan's not my wife. She's the nanny. Right. Wishful thinking, though, eh, Chris? I don't think it's broken, but we'll send you off for an x-ray just to be sure. I'll get you to prescribe some analgesia if that's okay. Excuse me? Yes, Mr. Samuels, has he been stressed in the last two hours? Not necessary. Right, there's a chart. I'd appreciate it if you followed protocol, that way everyone's on the same page. The medical registrar will be down in the next half hour. It's all under control, okay? No, it's not okay. What's the point of having systems in place if not everyone's going to stick to them? Are you saying I don't know how to treat my patients? No, I'm not. All I'm asking is that you give it a try. Is it too much? Can you take over, please? Apparently, I have an urgent assessment to see to. You course. don't have to do it right this minute. Well, do you want me to follow your protocols or not? Yes, I do. Well, that went well. <clears throat> when you've got a moment, Judy, can you get me Mr. Samuel's notes, please? Sure. Checking up, are we? Look, Victor may be bullshit toes, but he is thorough. I'd like to see that for myself. 